Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Bespoke Post series. Uh, now, one thing about this one, don't be surprised if you see this one attached to the Camping and Survival series. And uh, here's our box. We do have a uh, little safety warning here and it does tell you basically why. Uh, but this is called the Switchback Kit. All right, everybody, so here we go. You can see we've got our handful of products here. There's a few different ones here. So uh, we'll kind of go through the different things that we've got. Uh, all of these seem to be kind of interesting and pretty neat. Um, they look like they're uh, pretty decent quality. I know that uh, some of these companies are well known and I've used some of their products before. I've gotten a few from, from uh, Bespoke as well as from other locations. Uh, now here of course is the card that comes with it. It of course has the information on the back and it's just kind of a go over of the different things that are there. Uh, and now we've got, again, a handful of things here. I'm going to go ahead and just start on my left. Uh, and this is the Helix. Uh, and it says that right up here. And it is an Origami Solar Lantern. Uh, now, I did not look into a lot of this stuff beforehand. So this is really, other than maybe this one right here, kind of already having a pretty reasonable idea on it. And then, of course, that one there. But uh, so here we go. We've got, as you can see, the solar panel right there. This is in a plastic case here. Oh, okay. And you can take it, and as you pull it apart, it twists open. So now you've got this uh, translucent type of uh, box here, and you've got a push button on the very center top here, it's green right there. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. The handle kind of goes over top of it, but let's see, there we go. Now we've got a little portable light that folds down flat. So uh, that's obviously where they get the idea of the origami because it twists down flat. Uh, it's pretty nice, it's using of course LED lights. Uh, I'm sure you just take and can set it out during the day, recharge the uh, the onboard flat battery that's underneath the uh, solar panel there uh, just by leaving it sit out in the sun and then you've got some nice ambient kind of lighting for uh, in the evening when you're out there camping so oh and it's got two two brightnesses that was the low this is the brighter setting and then oh well you do have a flash setting so very similar to some of the uh, flashlights that are out there, the emergency flashlights. Now this one is pretty self-explanatory. Everybody, for the most part, knows what something like this is. Uh, and this is a, the military version. And this is a lensatic compass. Uh, now there's of course tons of uh, videos out there on how to use these and everything. Uh, I actually had to look it up because I, for I had forgotten from the years ago when I was in scouts and stuff on how to properly use this. Um, the, little, the little wire hook there being what you put your thumb through to help stabilize it and everything to take your azimuth and everything. But uh, it looks pretty nice. It, uh, it has some markings on the side here where it looks like you can take some measurements. It of course has the standard lensatic everything on here, the, uh, the little thumb loop wire there. You've got the little magnifier uh, the wire that goes up through the center here that helps to give you your azimuth or uh, your direction and uh, Even on the back here It shows you some basics on how to use it So definitely a good thing to have uh, of course in this day and age of cell phones and uh, electronic devices GPS and whatnot people don't tend to use things or take things like this with them, but you never know when your battery is going to die, if you're going to get flooded out and all of your equipment is going to be, you know, electronics will get destroyed with water, of course, obviously, because they'll short out. Having something like this just as a backup, um, obviously, survival, if you're a survivalist, this is going to be something that you know you need to have. Uh, next one we've got is the uh, fire starting kit here. Obviously, this is pretty, pretty standard for these. Uh, you have a plastic container, just a round one. You have a flat side here, and it does have the striker board in there already. Uh, it has a screw-on lid, and uh, right here you do have a rubber gasket right there. 
so uh, you know pretty pretty standard there now we get into the product inside of course we're gonna have matches and these are gonna be those um, supposed to be windproof uh, you do have a simple red tip there and then of course you're kind of basically it's like a flare uh, type section here and then we've got uh, some additional in here now again this did say fire starting kit and not just matches and that's because you have these little compressed fiber uh, blocks right here you have three of them in here and uh, along with that we do have looks like we have two extra striker boards as well so uh, obviously try to keep those inside the container and that way you know if it gets wet or anything you have spares and you don't uh, make it so that you can't use your matches uh, but these uh, these little things these things are great to uh, get a fire starting next thing we've got is a simple knife um, now I've seen ones like this before uh, I've actually gotten one of these in uh, a kit in the other series there the the uh, camping and survival series and um, you know some of these aren't too bad uh, it, it seems fairly fairly generic in terms of the uh, of what it is I mean it's just a basic knife it's a simple plastic sheath on it uh, this part I'm not sure about why it has this little standoff piece right here maybe you guys know if you know what that's for uh, shoot it down there in the comments and let me know I, I don't really understand what that's quite for other than um, maybe for like lanyard type stuff it does have an opening in the back and it has like kind of a little hook looking thing right here so you could probably take and put some uh, cordage down and over top I don't know that that's really going to be something that's going to hold this in because of the design of it but uh, maybe that's what it's for I don't know but uh, let's go ahead and pull it out now you know what that's a I mean it's a simple plastic handle and it's it's fairly it's it's reasonable it doesn't have any of the rubber gripping to it or anything like that but it does have the uh, finger guard at the uh, front here so your hand doesn't slide forward over the blade and then of course you have your pommel that is flared out the back so your hand seems to stay pretty solid in there uh, I don't have the biggest hands but I wear about a size large in gloves and uh, it fits in here very comfortably um, it feels very nice and I would say that is about a three and a half, almost a four inch blade right there. Uh, and I will say this, that's pretty nice. It does have a very nice finish to it. It's like almost almost a mirror finish. Uh, it has just a little bit of haze to it there. But this is the uh, Moraknil. Uh, and, and I am probably saying that wrong, but uh, anyhow, that is the brand name here. It says that it is stainless. Oh, and it's, it's a Swedish knife. So, uh, you know, pronounce that with a Swedish type of accent and, and we'd be good to go. It does feel like it has a pretty good edge to it. Let's see if we can, uh, does it take off the hair? Mm, it does a little bit. It doesn't, it, it's not the greatest. It's taken off more of the, uh, more of my sunburned skin than it's doing, than anything else. But uh, it is it did take off the hair a little bit, so it's not super sharp coming out of the box, but it it's not bad, and I don't think it would take very much to uh, just hone that edge down just a little bit and uh, give you a nice shaving edge. But uh, yeah, and it, I mean it does have that simple belt clip there. Uh, I mean basic, but very nice and definitely very useful. Use it for cutting cordage. Um, use it for doing some minor wood processing for a fire or something like that. Get yourself some shavings, anything like that. All right, and then our last one here, we have, of course, obviously a lot of people are going to know what this is, and this is just kind of a standard folding shovel. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got this uh, the triangular handle here, and it simply folds out, and then as it does that, it pulls up on this uh, brace and the brace goes all the way down through so when that's when that uh, brace is in the right position it's it's interesting so if it's here it acts like a lever and it acts like a lock so you, it locks down this way you have to lift the handle up first and lifting the handle up if you can see there's movement here and that changes your positioning 
so that then you can open this out. Now, of course, it does have two different positions, well, three closed. You have your trowel position, and then you have your regular shovel position. And of course, to lock it down, you then just spin your nut down. And there you go. And this is, I would say this is what, about 18? Yeah, that's about 18 inches long, roughly. So uh, nice for, uh, definitely for a campfire or something like that, if you needed to uh, you know, dig a hole, if you had to uh, dig maybe a, a small latrine or something like that, you could do that. Now this does have a little bit of a sawed uh, edge right here. Uh, this one here looks more like a fish scaler. Um, it's more of a scalloped edge, whereas this is a uh, ridgeback type of edge to it and then the rest of it is just kind of your standard shovel. Um, it is just simple thin um, thin plate uh, or, or thicker, slightly thicker sheet metal. It's not bad the section here, the uh, the little nut there and the uh, kind of the, the section right here, I'm not sure exactly what you'd want to call it, just part of the handle I guess, but that's all plastic and then the actual handle here and of course the blade and then the center post there are all metal. So uh, pretty pretty simple and straightforward in terms of what it is. And uh, you know, to sit there and do some simple, uh, simple uh, digging and uh, uh, maybe even a little bit of uh, wood cutting or something like that, fish scaling again, uh, it probably wouldn't do too bad. But uh, yeah, I think this was actually a pretty nice kit. Um, obviously these are about $50 for these kits. And uh, so it, it, it's not bad. And one thing I did do, and this is just kind of a little extra, I also went ahead and splurged and got a book too. And we've got this, uh, this Bushcraft 101. And now granted, I, I know a fair bit about camping, and, um, but there is always a lot to learn and there's a lot of things that I don't think of. And, uh, you know, this is obviously, it talks about wilderness survival. It's going to teach you about knots. It's going to teach you about uh, doing things like fire lighting and different ways to do that. Uh, it's going to teach you how to do some basic shelters, anything from maybe a debris shelter uh, to, you know, maybe even some type of uh, teepee or even a, uh, maybe even somewhat of a pseudo log cabin, A-frames and various things like that. It also is going to help you with uh, some plant identification as well. But yeah, definitely a good a good uh, kind of thing to have with you. Now, of course, you guys can check this out down there below. Uh, there is going to be a link to the uh, Bespoke Post site for this. And of course, with that, uh, if you go use that link, uh, you get a uh, nice little discount on your first box. And it also gives me a little kickback too to help me purchase uh, some additional boxes and do some more reviews with them and so it helps us both out really uh, Now of course if you're not interested in that, but you do want to help out the channel We do have the uh, PayPal link down there uh, yeah. uh, Also, there is our social media down there as well And uh, you guys can check that out let you know when we've got new videos and maybe some little things that are happening here and there on world of me All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This was part of the Bespoke Post series, as well as, uh, you know, I think we'll throw it in there with the Camping and Survival series as well. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!